Hey, how's it going everyone? Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and today I'm going to be walking you through the new Londronium version 2.0 upgrade. The idea of the washing machine as a piece of musical equipment, while not unheard of, has been fairly limited in its scope. While sampling, we discovered all kinds of hidden treasure troves of musicality buried deep within this washing machine and now available for you to use in your own film, TV, video game scores, and musical projects. The broad variety of percussion instruments we've given you represent a fair cross-section of the breadth of its acoustic capabilities. With everything from soft, gong-like, harsh, warbly, trashy, muted, dreamy, bassy, or to warm and sweet tones. This library also includes some bowed sounds as well as some custom ambiences, drones, and pads crafted right from the source material. Londronium 2.0 comes packed with a brand new user interface with powerful sound shaping controls to give you complete flexibility. The master preset includes every sample in the library and a host of powerful expression features. There are four independent sound layers, each with a full set of parameters that can be linked, automated, and customized. These include swell, attack, start offset, release with pad mode, vibrato, filter, coarse and fine pitch, sound bank selection, and crossfader assignment. Layers 1 and 2 contain all of the main articulations like airy hiss, cold air vent, string buzz, a collection of tuned percussion sounds, and much more. Next, we used various sound design tricks to morph the sound from Londronium into multiple drones, synth tones, and ambient pads. You'll find these in the Layer 3 sound menu. They can be played by themselves or used to add texture and body to the primary sounds in Layers 1 and 2. Thank you. 
Lastly, the Subsynth layer is a basic synthesizer with six simple shapes that can be added for tonal transient and tonal support. Some important features to be aware of is the X fade assign section on the bottom right of the UI. This ties directly in with the X fade slider above the main controls. Setting this up is very easy. All you have to do is click on the layers that you want to crossfade between and assign them using the X fade assign. In the advanced settings pull down window, you'll find an adaptable LFO system with selectable LFO shape, modulation, target parameter, speed, intensity, tempo syncing, and fade in time. You can also apply your choice of 13 low pass, high pass, and effects filters with assignable modulation targets such as velocity, mod wheel, expression, aftertouch, key position, and step sequencer table control. You can also use our customizable arpeggiator with a built in velocity sequencer table and control over ARP direction, note timing, swing, randomization and duration.
The effects rack tab gives you direct access to 18 of Context's built-in special effects and dynamic processors. This panel is accessible in all presets by clicking on the effects rack tab button at the bottom of the instrument UI. Londronium also comes with 20 custom sound design factory presets. These presets can be used as a creative starting point or can be modified to fit the sound you're looking for. You can also create and save your own for later use. Now let's go ahead and play through some of these custom effects presets.
Londronium 2.0 is available now and all links are in the description below. If you want to stay up to date with our newest releases, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified next time we release a video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.